Pops has been a part of the cultural life of this city and this country for almost 130 years now, and it has crossed across oh, countless generations, fads, musical tastes, and, and you name it. And uh, the great thing about working with this group is that we can play all of that. These days, a, a very, very exciting time that is coming back into people's focus is the, uh, the 1920s in America, a period of incredible energy, the jazz age, the birth of jazz, the moving on of the blues, technology running rampant, America poised on the verge of true international greatness, and prohibition to top it all off. I'm very excited this year that we have put that concept uh, into play with uh, our Great Gatsby concerts here at Symphony Hall, where we will transform Symphony Hall into a giant speakeasy, but don't worry, the alcohol will be legal. Using some of the great music, Duke Ellington, George Gershwin, a wonderful piece called Skyscrapers by John Alden Carpenter, which I've always wanted to present to Pops audiences. But I think the most exciting part about these very special concerts is our new collaboration with the New York-based jazz group, The Hot Sardines. These guys are absolutely amazing. Vocals, a tap dancer, stunning instrumentals, and they really play it all. But what they remind me most of is what it must have felt like to sit in a cozy Berlin or Paris nightclub in 1925 and hear some great music. I think they're going to be one of the best collaborative efforts we've ever done at the Boston Pops, and I can't wait to make music with them.